everyone, it's Keely for Soyeen Shea and Happy New Year! Thank you so much for joining me. For those that have been around for a while, you will notice we have a new camera angle. Over Christmas I was given some money as people didn't really know what to get me and I went and bought myself a brand new tripod so we can do some overhead shots. Been spending the last couple of days trying to get the camera angle right and trying to get it so I'm not going to knock the tripod and hopefully all will work out. If you follow along with me on Instagram, you would have seen earlier this week I was making some embeds. I pulled the pinky seal out and I made some um, moulds and then we created some embeds as well. And that is for today's soap, which is chai tea. It's from Aroma and has 0% vanillin and has notes of clove, cinnamon, cardamom, black tea, honey and vanilla. Now even though this says chai tea, I'm going to make it hopefully look a little bit like a chai latte. The way that I used to make lattes when I worked in coffee shops with that dark layer on the bottom and then that white um, topping on the top and then we'll do our uh, embeds. Now in my bucket I have my oils which I have to a room temperature of about 27 to 28 degrees and I have my live water solution here as well which is about that same temperature. I'm going to pour it into my big bucket down my stick blender just to avoid any splashback. Then I'm going to mix it up and split it out for the colours. So the colours that we are using today into my big bucket here, I'm going to put some titanium dioxide which I've dispersed into some um, distilled water just to help blend that through my oils there. We have some bronze sparks mica from my mica obsession and that is for one of these containers. And the other colour we are using today is mocha mica and that is also from my mica obsession. So I'm going to get these in and I am going to blend them up before stirring in the fragrance. what I'm going to do is just leave my white bucket to one side for a moment and I'm just going to work on the two browns here. What I want to do is create a, the, a layer on the bottom of dark browns. When I used to work um, making coffees, I used to love making a latte where you'd put the coffee into the bottom and then you would layer the milk on the top and it always just looked so impressive when you took it out to the customer. So I'm going to try and attempt that with this soap today. So we're just going to pour in a bit of the fragrance oil into each of these and I will keep back some of this colour in which I'm going to do a in the pot swirl in the white to pour on top of this bottom layer. So we'll get this mixed in and then we'll go and grab the mould. So I'm just going to pour these browns in, just alternating them just to get a little bit of a swirly effect in the bottom so it's not one solid colour. But I will be leaving enough in my pot here to be able to do that drop swirl into the bucket as well. Now just to add a little bit more interest to the bottom of here, I'm going to put my hanger through it. Now I was asked where I got my hanger from and as you can see, it was actually an old coat hanger that I found in the wardrobe. It's actually a very old coat hanger and it was the time when um, they used to put a really thick coating on there. So I chose the one that I could find with the thickest coating possible, um, just so that the soap doesn't eat into that plastic and then eventually interact with the um, soap and I do keep an eye on it to make sure I don't have any cracks in that um, coating and on the occasion that I may end up with one then I'll certainly replace it. 
Now I don't want this to set up too much because I kind of, as I pour that white on top, I want it to go all nice and wispy like it would if you were actually pouring um, milk into coffee. So we're going to pour the rest of that fragrance in there, give it a really good stir. Then I'm going to drop swell the rest of those browns in before adding it into my mould here. So the first thing I'm going to do, most chai teas and chai lattes, you get that little sprinkle of cinnamon on the top. So I'm going to take just a little bit of the Bronze Sparks Mica, pop it into my tea strainer and I'm just going to give ever such a light coating on it just to make it look like it has been sprinkled with a little bit of cinnamon. Now you usually also get those sort of nutmeg hints out of a chai so I'm also going to add just a little bit of that mocha mica across the top as well all right so let's take a look at some of these embeds we have some cinnamon sticks here now if you do want to see very quickly how I made these pop over onto the Instagram page and it will be in one of the highlighted stories called embeds I basically made some a very very small batch of soap and I actually did it using the heat transfer method and then once it was set I shaved off some pieces using a cheese slicer and then I rolled them up to make uh, little cinnamon sticks and each of these bars of soap are going to get their own cinnamon stick in there so we'll start placing these ones in. So we are now in 2019 and I'm actually making this soap on New Year's Day and I wanted to see who has made New Year's resolutions and what you've actually decided to do for New Year's resolutions. Myself personally, I don't make New Year's resolutions. I used to try when I was in my teenage years, I used to try and make New Year's resolutions, but then I would always be so disappointed with myself when I didn't keep them. And I very quickly learned what's the point in setting myself up for failure. So instead of setting myself New Year's resolutions, I set myself goals throughout the year. So rather than saying I'm going to lose weight this year, my sort of aim for this year is to start eating more healthily. Um, and I'm going to start by clearing out the pantry cupboard and we will be very careful about the foods that we're buying to, um, to put back in there. If I happen to lose weight while doing it, that will be a bonus. But the resolution or the goal is to actually eat healthier and we've got things like a Nutribullet so I can be drinking smoothies and things like that, walking the dog a little bit um, more often as well. So it's more of a goal for me this year. Last year I had a goal of just do it. Stop contemplating about doing things and just do it. And that meant things like I set up a Etsy store. It didn't work. I closed it down but at least I gave it a go. There were things I wanted to do within my soap making and I just thought just do it and stop contemplating it. So I actually managed to get so much crossed off my to-do list in 2018 and I plan to do exactly the same again in 2019. Before we go on any further there I'll just show you the next embeds I have. We have some star anise. 
Now I got the Pinky Seal um, mold making um, kits back out and I'll leave a link to the video where I show how I use them and we made these star anise and the detail that was picked up by the mold making material you can even see all the seeds in that particular one so I'm really happy with how these little star anises came up so we'll get some of these put in here as well and I will also have some little cardamom pods and again I made a pinky seal mold from off some actual cardamoms. I've poured them in some green and then I've spritzed them with a little bit of the um, which mica did we use? We used one of the gold micas. I'll have to have a look and see which one it was. It was the extravagance because it's nice and glittery and shiny. So we'll get these popped on here as well. So apart from just doing the whole just do it sort of attitude again this year and getting things done, I have also decided that one of my other goals is to try and improve my photography skills so we can take some better photos for Instagram and that kind of came about I saw everyone doing their top nine um, for 2018 and I was kind of a little bit disappointed with some of the photos that the app went and got from off my sort of um, collection of photos and I thought oh I really should be starting to take a few better photos so that's going to be another goal almost resolution of mine is to learn some better photography skills for Instagram so as I say it's not really a resolution they are just goals things I would like to achieve throughout the year I do write them down just to remind myself that these are oh look we've got a stray cardamom already <laughs> I do write them down um, just that, to remind myself of this is what we are wanting to do this year and when I feel myself slipping away that's when I make a real conscious effort to do something so if you follow along with me on Instagram hopefully you'll start to see some even better looking sort of photo shots another sort of um, goal I have this year is to really start focusing on my website and to start bringing everything I possibly can into the international market as well so that's my sort of what people would say re resolutions I just call them my goals for the year what are your goals and hopes and resolutions for this year let me know in the comments section down below and let me know if also like myself you tend to more set a goal as opposed to a resolution I'm going to get some of these cardamom pods on. We may even put a few more of these um, star anise on as well. I did made sure I had plenty because I wasn't quite sure if I was just going to decorate each soap or if I was going to put, um, you know, just all over the tops of them. But I think we might just put a few on each of the soaps so we go like that. Going to give this a spritz with some rubbing alcohol not too much because I don't want the mica underneath it to run but I'm going to bring you down and give you a closer look of chai tea okay so here is chai tea I still can't get over how realistic those star anise pods look in fact when I was unmolding them earlier I had to actually question myself whether I had actually removed the original star anise out of the mold but I knew I had because they didn't shatter and break when I pulled them out so I'm going to leave this one to sit overnight and I'll be back to cut it up later and we'll see what sort of swirls we got I am back and we are ready to now cut this chai tea soap it looks amazing I haven't ended up with any soda ash on the top so I'm really happy and I can't wait to cut it open and see what swirls we've got on the inside the smell of this one it is nice and strong 
and when I posted pictures of the embeds on my Instagram I think Tierra from Gypsy Fay Creations really described this one well saying it sounded like it was going to be a nice cozy fragrance that we were working with and that is precisely what we have here so I am going to push down. I am expecting to cut through some of the star anise and the little cardamom pods. But hopefully we won't cut through any of those cinnamon sticks. So now I'm through that top layer with all of that melt and pour. I'm just going to keep pushing down and through this one. And we're through. So let's see. Oh, what we get, the end has just fallen off there. So I'll just grab this piece from off the end. And that is what our chai tea looks like on the inside. So each one is going to have some star anise, some cardamom and that cinnamon. And we have that really nice dark base that I wanted with the sort of chai tea swirling up and into the white milk. So we'll just grab this next piece as well to have a look at that one. So this one has a little bit more of the white showing through, but you can see putting that hanger through the bottom of there has given some really nice swirls to all those, those two different browns. And I am just really pleased with how this one has come up. And it, as I said, it is smelling amazing. So this bar of soap will be ready to purchase on the website from the 28th of January and don't forget we are now shipping to the US and Canada. We are looking to put the UK onto the website very soon as well so we'll be able to ship there. I hope you have enjoyed watching me make my chai tea soap. Uh, if you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel. I do bring out a weekly video, whether it be soap making, bath and body, and I am still working on that candle video for you as well. And I'm going to try and get that one out in February. So thank you so much for watching. And until the next video, have a great day. Bye.